Hello there guys, this is Nuno once again, uh, greetings from Portugal. Uh, today I think um, you'll be uh, quite happy uh, with the tip that uh, I'm going to, to show you. As you know, uh, and I made uh, two videos regarding this issue uh, and the issue uh, and the possibility is the, the mirroring on, uh, the, on, on the iPad one. I still have the iPad 1, I didn't uh, found the, the need to, to, to buy the iPad 2. So um, one of the things that uh, uh, I missed was uh, the mirroring of the iPad 1 for uh, professional issues, for presentations uh, um, and also uh, in, in the house to, to, um, to connect to the TV and check some 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 email and some and watch some safari um, pages and everything um, and as you know uh, in time uh, it was able to do that uh, that tweak but you have to jailbreak the device uh, i made a video on uh, when the device was running ios 4 point something and then a new video on uh, run on the device running ios 5 as you know the current firmware is 5.0.1 and that is not possible to, to do. Uh, I found a way to uh, uh, you know, uh, do that and it's quite a simple, it's a simple procedure, okay? You don't have to be jailbroken to do that, so that's good for the guys that are watching that don't, don't want to mess with the, with the device and you can do that on your uh, iPad one and also on your iPhone 4 okay uh, I already uh, done it on my iPad but I'll go through the procedure for you to to check uh, how easy it is okay so let's go ahead uh, to the screen recording phase and also to the external camera to the to the iPad okay let's go ahead then Okay guys, guys uh, very well, um, first step is to connect your iPad to uh, your 30-pin uh, connector, okay, so uh, keep it, keep it uh, connected to your, to your Mac, okay, um, and uh, what you have to do in this phase, so this is uh, for you just to check uh, the new guys that are watching. This is in fact uh, an iPad one. Uh, you can see over the speaker grill. Okay, this is only a feature on iPad on the iPad one, and also the dock connector. Okay, uh, as you know, in the iPad two, is a little bit below this. Okay, but I think the the grill, the speaker grill, is more than enough for you to to see. This is a um, iPad iPad one. Sorry, I'm looking at this camera, not looking straight forward. Uh, on the eyesight on, the, on this display. So first, first thing that you have to do is go ahead and you have two programs that I will leave the link in the description. One of them is called um, P is the I Explo Explorer. Okay, uh, the I Explorer allow you uh, to to check your files. On, uh, on your iDevice, in this case iPad. If I had the iPhone connected through the 30-pin connector, you should be able to see that. But in this case, I'm, I'm looking at, uh, at, uh, at the iPad one. Okay, so this program is free, uh, is available for Mac users and also for Windows users. Uh, despite the fact that I'm using uh, Apple products, I'm also speaking to the Windows users that have an iPad or an iPhone, okay? So this program that I'm showing you is free and you can look, download for Mac and also for Windows, okay? So uh, this is the, the first one, the, the program is called iExplorer, okay? It's, uh, it allows you, once again I will tell you, to see the roots and all the files that are included in your system, okay? Um, the first thing, and then I will show you the, the, the other program. The first thing, uh, thing that you need is to go to your root in the iPad and uh, go to library, go to, um, <coughs> I'm talking uh, to, uh, through my, my, my memory, I don't have here any notes, so I have to think a little bit, okay? So you go to library 
then you go to core services uh, I suppose uh, library and then you are going to I'm sorry uh -huh. okay uh, I mean library okay yeah not in library sorry you are going to system sorry about that okay system and then library okay and in the library you go to core services in the core services you will check for a file uh, that is called or a app a dot app it's called springboard dot app okay you click on the arrow and then you scroll down until you find a p list that is called k48ap.plist okay this one over here what you have to do now is drag this file to your desktop okay the file still remains on your device you just made a copy to your desktop okay now you can minimize this and go to the other free program that is called let me check it's called plist pro editor it's also a um, free program okay here you have it p list edit pro okay it's available for mac and also for windows platforms click on it just for you to check okay it's a simple program almost similar to the i explorer that i show you earlier okay but now you can uh, close close that because what you have to do in your um, desktop and the file that you copy uh, from the iPad to the desktop what you have to do is right click and open with and if it isn't here uh, you uh, choose this plist edit pro okay this application that I show you uh, that is free okay and you open that application so now you are seeing that uh, k48ap.plist that was on your iPad in this uh, application. What you have to do, and I already done it, so that's why it's already in the in the in this uh, in this route. Uh, what you have to do, and you will see if you have an iPad one and uh, or an iPhone four, it doesn't exist, and you have to create. So you have lots of things here, okay? What you have to, to do, uh, and I will show you what I have done. I have here something that is called display, and then uh, a little, I don't know how it's called, so space, and then a little, uh, I don't know the name in English, sorry, I'm from Portugal, as you know, and sometimes this, uh, uh, terms uh, skips my head so but you can see here display and then a small uh, uh, something mirroring and then it's a boolean and it's it's uh, yes yes you can put it no and that will disable the mirroring when you open the file this display mirroring doesn't exist what you have to do is just create it okay and that's that very simple go ahead click on capabilities and click on new child okay and you have a new item here below, uh, below the capabilities okay and you have to write display like this display not slash but well you, you know what i mean mirroring and then you have lots of options uh, you have to put that as a boolean and then click yes okay so i will now uh, delete this new item that i created but this is this is the step that you have to do okay capabilities new child name that new child as display mirroring 
as you can see here boolean and yes okay you can quit that because it saves automatically okay the file that is in your, on your desktop and afterwards what you have to do is go again to the i explorer and drag the file here okay and it will ask you if you want to let's let you can see are you sure you want to overwrite okay you will overwrite the original plist file click ok okay one advice first and now i'll do cancel because i already done that one advice take the original one okay the first step that i show you that i copy to the desktop and save it as a backup uh, in documents for example okay uh, you can have something going wrong okay and then you have the possibility to return again to the to the original uh, system the original uh, software uh, that was on your ipad one okay or iphone 4 and this is it guys afterwards what you have to do is only i'll put this in the trash what you have to do afterwards is go to your ipad Okay, and disk and uh, shut it down. Okay, shut it down and wait and restart again uh, your your iPad one. Okay, uh, I'm going to show you also in the video that in fact this procedure works. I will connect the iPad to my uh, HD uh, TV. Okay and you will check that uh, this simple procedure without jailbreaking it's possible okay so let's go ahead and do that okay very well guys uh, following the procedures that we made uh, on an earlier phase uh, what you have now to to buy uh, if you didn't bought it yet is a av hdmi connector in this case is from apple but i suppose a third party suppliers should have it too at lower prices so you should have this as you know it's not possible to airplay the ipad uh, one uh, without uh, it's not possible at all because it's only a feature available on ipad 2 and you have to have um, apple tv so in this case it's uh, the connector that i show you go ahead with your hdmi connector and from your television connect that to this and afterwards connect it to the yard to your 30 pin connector on iPad on your iPad click your own button as you and as you can see you have immediately the mirroring of the iPad on your uh, HD uh, TV so let's unlock it and here you have it all the features here check the net your internet and do uh, whatever you want okay in this case uh, here we have the YouTube but you can do whatever you want okay PowerPoint presentations pages and whatever okay so it's a secondary screen that you have in your uh, HDTV um, in case of the videos as you know it was possible already without doing this the, the procedure the initial the initial procedure to watch videos but uh, you can watch it watch it uh, uh, the same way so when you click uh, let's go to my videos it's better okay here my videos and if you click on your video on YouTube and you click play <coughs> you have sound on your television and your iPad says it is connected to a TV okay so guys this is the final test just for you to check that is possible with that procedures that I showed you it is possible to have your iPad one uh, mirrored 
on your uh, HDTV. Uh, don't, uh, despite the fact that I'm an Apple fa uh, fan, as you know, uh, don't uh, <laughs> don't trust everything they, they they tell you because, as you know, it's a marketing issue. The iPad one is is almost the same as the iPad one. The iPad two is almost the same as the iPad one, and you can do the mirroring on your HDTV. So, uh, hope you like it. Hope it's useful for you. For me, it is, and uh, all the best. If you want, put your thumbs up. That's also always a motivation to keep doing these kind of videos. All the best and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.